The French Navy is entering a new phase of global power projection as it prepares to induct its second next-generation replenishment vessel, the BRF Jacques Stoskopf. Scheduled for delivery in late 2025 at Toulon, the ship joins France's ambitious flotlog program, developed jointly with Italy, to rebuild and modernize its fleet of blue-water logistics ships. This addition follows the earlier arrival of the lead ship, Jacques Chevalier, and marks a measurable enhancement of France's ability to support carrier strike groups, amphibious forces, and multinational task groups across vast maritime theaters. The Jacques Stoskopf is notable both for its size and for its capability. Measuring 194 meters in length with a beam of nearly 28 meters, the vessel displaces around 31,000 tons, making it one of the largest French surface ships, second only to the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. Its design stems from the Italian Volcano class Euler, tailored for French operational requirements under the supervision of Acker and built with contributions from Fincantieri and French industry. The scale of the ship directly reflects the strategic shifts within the French Navy. It can carry approximately 13,000 cubic meters of fuel, both marine and aviation types, and transfer it at sea at speeds of up to 1,200 cubic meters per hour. In addition to liquid supplies, the ship can transport around 1,500 tons of dry cargo, including ammunition, spare parts, and mission essential equipment. This dual capability approach significantly elevates France's ability to maintain extended naval operations far from home waters. Propelled by a diesel-electric arrangement powered by four-man engines, the ship generates around 24 megawatts of output and sails at speeds close to 20 knots. This allows it to accompany major naval formations across long distances, supporting both French and Allied vessels. Its double-hulled design ensures compliance with stringent environmental standards, enabling safer operations in ecologically sensitive regions. The ship's onboard technology further reinforces its operational value. Equipped with the Polaris Combat Management Suite, Terma Scanter 6002 radar, and Saffron Paseo XLR electro-optical systems, the BRF contributes to local situational awareness and self-defense. Although primarily a logistics ship, it also serves as a forward command and coordination platform, capable of hosting embarked staff and operating under EMCAN conditions to reduce detectability in contested environments. Once Jacques Stoskopf enters service, France will possess two modern replenishment ships capable of sustaining both carrier-based and amphibious expeditionary operations. This renewed logistical backbone ensures that the Charles de Gaulle carrier group, the Mistral-class amphibious assault ships, and France's first-rank frigates can maintain high operational tempo for prolonged periods. The ship's ability to refuel and resupply NATO partners enhances multinational readiness across the Mediterranean, Atlantic, and eventually the Indo-Pacific, a theater of growing strategic interest for Paris. The broader significance of the Flotlog program extends beyond fleet renewal. By replacing aging durance-derived tankers with ships optimized for high-intensity operations, France reinforces its long-term commitment to global maritime presence. The collaboration between the French and Italian defense industries also strengthens Europe's naval shipbuilding capabilities, helping position the continent as an exporter of modern logistics platforms. As geopolitical competition intensifies at sea, France's new BRF fleet, including the future vessels Émile Bertin and Gustave Zied, will play an essential role in supporting France's next-generation aircraft carrier and sustaining the operational credibility of the French Navy. With Jacques Stoskopf nearing delivery, France takes another decisive step toward ensuring its maritime forces remain ready, resilient, and far-reaching in the decades ahead.